we've just turned up after a nice little tailor session. Uh, Jay's going to show you guys exactly what we're using as a rig and, uh, and hopefully if you copy that one you might get some fish. So how do we do it? Alright so we're just running a uh, straight sinker over swivel method. You use this a lot for many many different species. Um, so <clears throat> because we're using plastics today most people will use jig heads but what I find is if you put a jig head on such a small plastic, it doesn't get the action that it really needs. So what we're doing is we're using pretty much unweighted only for this sinker here, so no jig head. All it is, <clears throat> is a mustard hook with some bait keeper prongs on it. So it really helps to keep that plastic on because mm. most jig heads will have a uh, bait keeper on there or, yep. or a plastic keeper on there. You don't really have that here. So what we'll do, if you just want to grab one out for me there, Andy, I'll, yep, I'll cool. use the red one here. Yep. So that's what that's what we're using. So these are camos, camo worms. Yep, from uh, Berkeley Gulp. They come scented, and the beauty thing is you get 24 a pack, and that's all they are. Mm. That's all they are. So they're like a blood worm or a wriggler or something like that. They look spot on. Yeah, they do. Yep. <clears throat> they're quite soft and quite pliable, and you can see that little bit of an action. They give that little bit of a wiggle. That's why I don't use a jig head because you I don't get that, that much. <laughs> <laughs> so all I do is you want to thread it in just like you would a normal plastic. You want to keep it relatively nice and centre on the hook. And you want to poke the prong all the way through, right down towards the tail end, because that's the end that, uh, the whiting you're gonna, gonna take first. And you just feed it on over the, over the eye. And you want it, like most plastics, nice and straight, so it presents nice and naturally. That looks good. Yeah. And that's it. And hopefully the whiting are gonna come along, they'll get the tail end first. They don't have massive mouths, so they'll start consuming this first and they'll make their way up, and then you'll sting them with that, uh, that semi-concealed uh, hook there. Well, I reckon they're already lined up on the back of the boat, so <laughs> let's get into it, mate. All right. So you don't have to cast that far, you set up your drift line first. So you're always casting from where you're coming from. <clears throat> so we're going so east to west of, right now. So upwind. Yeah, 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 so upwind, exactly. And all this is a bit of a cast out. I like to take up a little bit of the slack just so the sinker is in front. And all you're doing is using the drift just to pop you along the bottom. Wow. And the whiting will usually graze around. So what you're waiting on them for is to um, have this plastic come past their nose and they'll start to tap, tap, tap. And quite often you'll get a bit of a load up and it's just a quick, simple strike. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully we'll have a couple on the boat. I think I'm onto another Jay. Hey, Sean. Yes. This is gold. <laughs> 